Hvað skræða? Uppbringing. Be whole. Heilin de hava. We are consciousness. How is the burns footage? We are not getting born to work and have burns. We decide to be born to use our unique human nervous system to nisa neither. But work and kids are such fun to have that we do that as well. Nothing is more important in life than the purpose of being born, evolve. Nothing else needs to be desired, because this is the only goal. Svadarma, svapahava, my own evolution towards perfection. Vnyanavat, he who is acquainted with the great pure knowledge, genungagab. We might have gotten the idea that we are here to work and multiply. Neither we parents nor our parents are here to work and multiply. But, in the case we love all that trouble, we should nema up vimpel runer, gain skill in action. That is easy, called science of luck. Pardon? Yes, fair winds provided by nature when we transcend regularly, and spontaneously we can take things easy. The little girl got a raw potato in the shoe and was ravishingly happy, found her stupid mum in the kitchen and asked her to boil the potato, but carefully not to get it mixed up with the ordinary potatoes. Joy of Burns is so pure and innocent that stupid mothers cannot always spoil it. Each one makes his own life. Everyone decides time and place and parents. Everyone is always responsible for his urdur. All his life from his own conception until hell. We take our skuld, whatever she brings, because she is our making, a package to me from me. It might well be, because of verdandi, that we have forgotten our previous urdur. Do not understand verdandi? No, why skuld is bringing this and that. Enkin má sköpum renna. No one can run away from his fate. Örlög. Örlög exist for the whole world. Actually, there is nothing unknown. All follows the order of Tivatun. But that does not change the fact that we have a free urður. Here and now and always. And are all responsible for her. 100% according to the master plan. 100% man's free will. We are Dinungagap. When we decide not to abide any longer in hell, our beloved hospitable friend, that is because of our will to make a body again, show up once more. Ahamkar, I making, according to its one's skuld. I am an individual from conception to hellia again. I make my body using my thoughts and my behavior, withhold it and remake it, with food, emotions, words and more thoughts. I am recreating it all my life, and I have a choice how. I also make my surroundings. I'm responsible for my thoughts, make my world. Nothing other is out there but Gungnir, out of which my brain makes my world, for which I am all responsible. All is consciousness, dynamism and silence, and that broken symmetry fun. I am God over my personal creation. What actually blinds us are our seeing eyes, you see. When we make our Sleipnir nervous system, we start associating with the ego. When we see other individuals, we assume they are they, and I am I. I see you, you see me. How can I then be you and you me? But mom and dad and the bands are but consciousness, Ginkakap. We shall reverb our parents for what they are. We chose them in the first place. We shall understand them and be tolerant. Parents might say, we choose friends, choose pets, but we are stuck with our parents. All true to a certain extent, the missing rest of the statement should be, whom we chose before conception. Men are on different stages of evolution. Rikstula is all about where we choose to be born. Some have good communication to themselves, consciousness, others not. Everybody should need us neither and find Shalvan Sig himself. Spiritual evolution. Some are enlightened, completely pure, have become einherjar, others not so. Some parents have the parent problem. Some have chosen parents that drink and smoke, destroy their body's purity, scold and fight, emit bad vibrations to the surroundings, put a raw potato in the shoe in the window cell, create bad emotions in the bed. Because some can neither control themselves nor bring up a bed. Some try to coax others to obedience. Power is not the true love which we need. True love is strong, needs no other power. <laughs> love is the great goddess in every man. Parents are told to have rules to obey. Some cannot even make rules for themselves. Or we might amend their diet, some might need detox, and learn to transcend Nisa neither. Upbringing is not rules, not lectures on behavior. It is being a good, loving model. We ourselves are all responsible for our own evolution, education, upbringing, no one other. 
sjálfur leið þú sjálfan þig, þá self lít þæ self. There are bands who are more intelligent and evolved than parents and teachers. They always cherish tolerance, also towards other parents. They understand. Gunnlöð wants to serve mjöður in dýri, the precious meat. Suttungur forbids that. Gunnlöð is better evolved than her father. Sometimes we are better evolved than our parents. But sometimes mom and dad live higher stages than we do. Rigur wants us to be born in our right place. Learn there to nisa niður, skræða 11. We are, it's one of us, on our very spot to carry on on our evolutionary path. We choose exactly what is the best for our next step. Verdandi says so. Also according to Rigur's teachings, we are in our right place. We shall live the flow of thund, our dharma, our örlög. Live our own life, svaa dharma. Dharma is that which upholds. It is dangerous to live the life of another. That is paradharma, ruins our evolution. Beware of a life that does not lead to evolving on our path, our own spot. Don't get caught. Be aware of the vicious cycle that Thilvini explains for us, skræða number four. Understand how easy it is to get out of the vicious cycle. So endlessly many glittering things and ideas beguile. Confound. The purpose of life is not to dance along with Triguna, Triguna, three qualities of nature. The task at hand is to gain purity. We forget to nisa neither, transcend. We forget to water the roots. We get caught up in Pratnya Parada, the mistake of our intellect. We lose uh, the understanding. Do not access the knowledge in our consciousness. We might see Gwudin, gods and goddesses, as people in funny olden stories. Do not understand what myths and poems are conveying. Unfathomable profundity is contained in our spiritual heritage. We shall understand. Understanding we gain by research in consciousness, by knees and either transcend. Fear necessity to live this abyss of knowledge. Both to understand intellectually, also plunge into air to become purer and purer day by day. That is research in consciousness. Who is that Frick, the great Gidia, goddess of universal love and our evolution? Sauga, or frik in fjensalir and sökva bekkur. Bekkur is a brook. A bis of what is this fjens and sökva? Bok so up mayr to sink. What or who is he that Odin in his gladheimar? That gladheimar not found on the map. Gladur means happy and white. Utlur önduras, perhaps some fire swiftly skiing on mountain tops. Skiing fire. <laughs> Obvious concepts. Certainly very important for us men. Or do we not comprehend at first sight? Does all this even look like old stupid nonsense? Valhut some cloudy hut perhaps only existing in olden stories. Are we really supposed to understand that we are to go there? Valhut scribe number 15 and 30. It is not easy to understand as nobody is here for us to convey the meaning. And ever worse, these Valhut stories have been changed and meddled up with gotten mixed up with dead men's abodes of monotheistic theocracies, which were imported from alien cultures and used to change our heritage. The trouble is that we do not know about enlightenment, valid to be waiting for all of us. Nobody seems to know, nobody teaches us about our goal. Confusion sneaks in when ignorant men imprint wrongs and explain faultily. An example of later time nonsense from ignorant teachers and preachers is dead in battle to valid Death from sickness to hell. This is later inventions and not right. Hell, skræða number 13. Einherjar are living men. Do not fight with weapons. Brynjur, coats of mail, lie on benches. Weapons used to sustain the roof. Einherjar live for conveying truth, saving mankind from ignorance. These similar guys are Yulman, Kjotgrogur, a bishop, and Osiris, Egyptian god of underworld and fertility. Jólasveinar, Icelandic Yule boys, might be our forefathers to whom we offer food. The bishop hooks lambs, that is hooks church members, who cannot get away again. Fertility of soil and the underworld are parts of our natural cycles. When there is no real understanding, cascades of mere words are ungrounded, or they even convey mere meaningless inventions. Some claim to be educating us, but have no idea themselves about any abyss. Preachers without foundation offer flowery, shallow words as teachings. Then all depends on the stage of consciousness of the listener, us, the listening ones. Enlightened men live the wisdom, understand fully. Knowledge is structured. 
in every man's consciousness. So simply seek and you will find. It is easy for every man to find the knowledge because we are consciousness. All we need to do is nisa and neither all our life. When we become pure, we find the wisdom. How are we supposed to understand when nobody is here for us to explain the whole truth? Now is the time to explain. Everyone should have access to the whole truth. Satyuga is coming. Highly evolved parents will seek to be born now. There will be more and more einherjar in Varlut. Pure men. Waking state. Deep sleep. REM or dream sleep. They are lowest three stages of consciousness. And the fourth. The fourth stage, transcendence, is gained spontaneously, automatically, by Nisas Nidr. Then we have fifth, sixth, and the seventh stages of consciousness. Einherjar, Huyen, and Munen live them. Pure and enlightened men on earth. Skriva 30. Yes, we are on our path to Valhall. The easiest path in the whole world. No obstacles anywhere. Yes, sin is the highway leading to the Supreme. We only have to rid us of filth and sin that clocks. We cannot drag that ignorance along. Our accumulated ignorance is our drag. Pure physiology, pure nervous system, a pure man. Parents, teachers and parents who are about to become enlightened understand the teaching of Jesus like love all like thyself. Enlightened we see that all are but consciousness. I am everyone. Everyone is I. These pure men cannot hurt as they see that they would be hurting everyone including themselves. This comes naturally, not as a rule or code to follow. The enlightened see this. This is Ahimsa. Not to hurt because we are now pure, enlightened and see. Not as a decision or a statute, but the inevitable result of our purity and seeing. Now we are normal. First, now we can bear the name a man. All less than enlightenment is abnormal, unworthy. The DM technique is only a technique. It is suitable for all men, regardless of sects. All men should learn to Nisas Nidr. Gabriel Mecha, a Catholic father, helps homeless parents in South America, saves them from prostitution, poverty, drugs. He teaches them TM. They become useful citizens, happy and educated. Pure men live the universal love. Know that negativity and evil disturb the perfect flow of intelligence. The laws of nature support evolution, lead to perfection. We should not disturb. We get support from nature when we live the purity and so support her almighty flow. Meili, son of Odin, is natural mildness. We transcend to find Meili inside us. We can seek the highest, the purity, the perfection, and or have fun in the mud. Live for stuff as a main part and purpose of life. We have a choice. Man has free will. The Icelandic word for choice is Val. Val Sanskrit means to go back, return back home. Val means to go to the realm where we belong, highest stages, purity. Valkyria leads us to Ausgarder, the unified field of total natural law, Tiva Tun. We go back home when we transcend. We cannot judge from the outer appearance of man which state of consciousness he lives. The outer shell does not tell. There is another difference, inner difference, clocked channels or free flow of Ojas, Soma. Ojas, most refined end product in our physiology, produced by perfect digestion, Skrida 39. We give the senses a break from the overwhelming supply. <laughs> we rest our mind. We leave the Triguna in the world where they belong. We transcend the sphere of thoughts. Skrida number 5, Ida Vettler Triguna. All the things we want to learn and do and enjoy will be more easily accessed when we have gained Vimbulrunir and Stinnir Stavir. Skrida 27, Nista Egnir. Kidunga Gap is the common basis for all subjects we learn. Not any interdisciplinary meaning here, rather, nothing is, that is not it. All will be easier, because we become pure and unclocked. No fear, no bullying in school, no struggling in learning, because the student, the process of learning, the subjects studied, are one, a trinity. This is all fun and easy, practical and suits every man on earth. This is the best we can wish for. Student and teacher live heaven on earth. Consciousness-based education secures the well-being of every student, Skrida 37, CPE. There are things we should deliberately cut out of our behavior. Make us pitiful, others to blame. Poor me after all I've been doing for you, and this is what I get in return. Is this really what I deserve from you? Skip to compare to others. 
live in jealousy and self-indulgence. Simply do not do that. I was thinking, in towns and cities, activities of burns are perhaps too controlled. Sports with rules show up on time, try to be the best and beat the others. Competition, which does not suit every burn. I realize the trouble that results from a bunch of burns on low stages without care. Grown-ups try to avoid hazards by organizing sports for them before the disaster happens. What happens then to creative play and games? There is no space left for creativity. When enlightened bands become majority, these over-organized lifestyles drop off. The concept lack of discipline will not exist any longer. Some claim international sports events, competitions, to substitute wars. Perhaps better to eliminate all stress in nation and then play friendly games. We are not born to scream and become overexcited, ready to find happiness and peace. Those who practice TM are super sportsmen, happy, natural, unrestrained. Skrida 6. Sin. The sin sieve should not be clogged. Sin says, no, no, my beloved burn, thou must be sieved. Go to Gladhimar, plunge into ayer, my beloved one. Purify the nervous system to be fit for glasses, the golden leaved. Packing water and power pyramids is inappropriate for human beings. We are not a pack of wolves, not a herd of animals. Those stages are over for man. Why behave like an ass? Can anyone make us obey by using the carrot and the stick, or that heaven or hell? Do we try to get the dangling carrot, at the same time fear the stick, knowing it to be very bad and therefore avoid it? Life, be it a burn or a grown-up, lived for rewards and in fear of punishment is not suitable, not acceptable for human beings. All parents should know this. Tell their parents and teachers that this reward punishment is a useless tool. Unhealthy means breed unhealthy behavior. He who is afraid is cunning enough to hide. We do not go to school for parents. Parents give us the chance to gain education. Sjálfur leið þú sjálfan þig, thou self lead thyself. No need to rely on others. Na jasja, sarva potesu, karstit, atavja. False security, to put all trust on someone's out there, because the trust was thee, is within. We simply should be grounded in consciousness. Do not try to mold another man to suit your needs. We can change ourselves as we wish if we want to, but do not even make an attempt to change others. It is unwise to change oneself in order to suit another. Bad or luck, fate, can be created by living the life of another. To eat anything that has been killed counts for eating sin. If we do, we partake in the act of killing. Take on us the sin committed by another. Predator animals hunt and kill in nature by their inherent nature. Man should be evolved enough to have an exalted type of free will. Our animal instinct might be a leftover habit. We are men now. Do we realize that? A true protection of animals goes also for fish and shrimps. Killing is cruelty. We are not carnivorous predators. There is a name, dog cooker, for the ones who cook and eat meat, Skrida 39, on pure food. Here I shall expose the utter illogicality of forgiving. Look. The one who demands from someone that he asks for pardon and forgiveness obviously sees himself in the exalted position to be able to forgive. He will pardon if, and only if, the other one kneels down and confesses a meant insult. I see no sound logic in that made up position of superiority. Rather pitiful not to see the whole picture. Perhaps simply his own old order hit him back as his due skuld. Look, for someone to see himself in the position to excuse, he must first accuse. Is accusing a sound act? Simply pride and overbearing to accuse another, and at the same time accept oneself as all innocent. We are all one consciousness. Don't subdue others for dominance and self-importance. To use one's position to have others obey is pathetic. Do not assume that our erlög evaporate when we leave the body. That is not the fact. Simply live this lifespan well and soundly in every way. Skrida 33, Urdur Verdandi Skuld. Mental violation is prohibition of freedom for acts and expression of views. Man has free will and should learn all his life to use it wisely. A pure man gets quality ideas and quality desires. Needs him neither. Violence is a matter of development. We agree on some good wardens. There are things which little men are not mature enough to understand. 
we should learn that chasing vanity only all our life is not the goal of life. Humans are not dogs. Do not let others use you as a dog. Neither do so to others. Do not dare anyone to do anything at your wish. No class of desire need there be. Everyone should be able to fulfill all his wishes. There is enough space for all. Nature supports all our acts if we need them neither regularly. Conflicts of interests are not normal at all. Let nature sort things out and plan. To do as we wish is good. Not to be able to do what we want is bad. To choose the most supportive actions, we start by purifying ourselves. Before, during TM, after. We scoop up success and fair winds for our doings from our own consciousness. Man possesses a highly evolved nervous system, a priceless attribute. We own the very tool to become enlightened. Animals live and perform according to their inherent nature. They don't possess the free will, still fenced in in paradisos. But beware, we work by old habit. We toil and struggle as if that were the only worthy. Perhaps we do not all know about a life appropriate for man. No one ever told us that. We are in good hands as Gwyddin, the gods, and natural law are steering our ship. They are all powerful and they are everywhere. We should trust them and strengthen our bonds every day by visiting them. We nisumst neither transcend to become ever more refined. Then our choices will be right. The better we live in Thundar Flyde, the almighty flow of the universe, the better Mother Nature cares for all our needs and desires. Einherjar receive all what they need, even without a desire. <laughs> Fimdurunir and Ljóðin and Góðir Galdrar Nýju are practical in everyday life. For free, easily available, they are all ours. Hvað dvelur þá ormin langa, what retards ormurin langi a ship? Famous sentence from Icelandic saga literature. We should understand Nisa's neither transcendence. Practice it regularly. Vital for our pure nervous system. Right food, quality sleep, flawless behavior, and Nisa's neither. To Nisa neither makes us so pure that the rest will be set right all by itself. Round means the orderliness in pure consciousness, Ayir. Odin, our consciousness, slitnir, man's nervous system, bungnir, vibrations, super strings. Gothrun Dimbla, my teacher, Marji, Indian physicist, points out to us where to find the knowledge and the understanding. And he teaches us the technique to transcend Nisa neither. Best of thanks, Marji, my great teacher. The vital point of living war for Nisidur, our ancient tradition, is first to understand intellectually the connection to oneself. Yeg given sjálfu mér. I given to myself to transcend the three guna, and then to practice Nisa's Nidur as a routine to transcend daily. The purpose of life is to become pure, to evolve to enlightenment. This is to get to Valot fully alive as soon as possible. Jesus says, allow the children to come to me as heaven belongs to them. In Osmar, therefore, all is put forth in a naive way. We should be childlike to receive the message. I realized that we have to unlearn wrong imprinting of the last thousand to two thousand years. I realize how difficult that will be for the grown-ups.